Hey guys, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about fonts, alignments, uh, text, color, and in this video, we are going to learn about the backgrounds in Telvin CSS. First, we will learn the simple backgrounds, and after that, we will go to the gradient backgrounds. So, uh, let's search uh, for the backgrounds in Telvin CSS, and this way you can learn using the uh, documentation as well. So, searching for the background color background color yeah and you can see that we have uh, tens of classes for setting different types of background we even have transparent and current and health and if you want black or white or uh, different levels for different colors like slate gray zinc or red blue so we can set any of them Let's go and set some background color and practice it. So I'm going to use the BG6 red 600 and uh, use it here in our document. I'm going to the Visual Studio Code and checking the terminal. So my watcher is running, everything is okay. We don't need this, so I'll comment it and commenting because I'm going to push this code in GitHub. So uh, if you need you can get that this over there now creating a div and giving giving it some class for background for example bg dash red and then we have to mention the color level 600 is it okay yeah so let's save it and uh, let's refresh it yeah though we said but we cannot uh, see it that is because we don't have mentioned the height and width of this div the first reason and the second reason that we don't have anything inside it so let's put some lorem or paragraph with lorem and then we can see it yeah here we go this is a very simple background this was the very uh, easy solution but if you uh, don't want to have paragraph but you want to see the background color so you have to mention the width and height of this div so for um, uh, giving the width and height with Telvin CSS you have, you have to search for the width here we got the width if you want some fixed width so we have w-0 for the 0px w-px for the 1px and w-0.5 for uh, 0 0.125 frame and so on we have uh, till uh, w-96 which is about 24 frame and we got the w auto for with auto and if you you want to use some percentage wise so you can use the uh, w-12 for 50 percent and so on after the we got the full width of w dash full with 100 percent of the parent and for a complete screen we have w dash screen which we'll talk later in the responsive section as well and we have got the minimum width and the maximum width and the fit content width so i want to use this width full because w dash full so let's refresh it yeah again we don't have it because we have to mention the height as well so uh, we can we can search for the height and we can see that for the height as well we have the same manners h0 and we got the rim scale here and after that we got the percentage scale and we have the h full h screen as well if you want to use the h full we might not get the thing we want here let's refresh yeah we don't have again so um, h full will not work but i'll use h screen to cover the screen uh, with width of 100 percent and uh, full port view viewport so here we go we got the red screen so this is the pure background and you can use you can mention just a fixed width uh, a fixed height for example about uh, 10 uh, you can use h14 for example which is about 56 px or 3.5 frame and maybe height 96 do we have height 96 height 96 yeah we have the height 96 so let's save it yeah we got the height 96 and now 
Mm, let's just check for the uh, we can change the levels of this color if you want uh, yellow for example of 900 let's save it and we got the yellow with the 900 and if you go for the uh, uh, gradient one let's search it here so we have got the linear gradients and the directions we have the classes here bg none is for no background at all but we have bg gradient to top this is from bottom to top if you want gradient of two colors or three colors and to top right if we somehow want it and to right to bottom right to bottom to bottom left to left to top left so we can use either that if we come here and see this one so let's make a gradient from top to bottom so let's remove this background instead of this one i'll use bg gradient like say gradient to bottom and that's okay now it's about color the first color will begin with the from so let's give another class with from from what we'll give the color for example from red from red uh, 600 then the second statement or class will be uh, starting from two two red for example 200 this two section is uh, optional whether you give it or not it will work fine so let's save it and refresh here we have the red 600 over top here and the red 200 down here so we can just come to red 400 as well you can see it uh, if you don't use it it will just uh, put the transparent or white background top to bottom and if you just use you can use even a third uh, color for example from red 600 to blue uh, 200 300 let's say okay to wire and you can use the third color in between wire uh, for example lime 400 500 let's say so it might not be uh, suggestible but you can use it that may may be somehow useful sometimes uh, so in the next video we will learn about bringing images to our background this was all about the uh, simple and gradient backgrounds please subscribe and comment below your views thank you